Hello and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. This afternoon I will be enjoying the Headless Mumby Vizzini Sicilian Style Pilsner. I have no clue what makes a Pilsner Sicilian style. So this is one I picked up at my local uh, tap house, Northwest Beer Works. And I didn't know it was on their list. I just went there looking for a few to get for a party this evening. And it was there. And I was looking for one light one and one heavy one. And this was the light one. So let's uh, see what it's like. I've had one other Headless Mumby beer. And that was 15, 14, 14 months ago at the Olympia Brew Festival. And it was a Czech dark lager. And it was delicious. Headless Mumby has a pretty good reputation in the area, uh, so figure give them another try here. So, uh, anyways, this is the Headless Mumby Vizzini Sicilian style lager. Uh, it's got some really good head retention. When he was pouring it, there was a ton of head, uh, and it's it's hanging on. I mean, it, it's not very he it's not very thick, but it's it's not going away. And it's got some body. It's not like disappearing from the from the glass very quickly either. Let's see, uh, lemon peel, maybe some green beans. Malty. You can smell the malts. They're they're very light. Maybe some pear. There's a very interesting mix of fruit and vegetable going on in the flavors here, but it's all bright. And um, and crisp smelling. So let's taste it. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. The lemon peel seems to reappear in the body as well, especially at the outset. Um, almost more of a lemon juice, not lemonade. There's there's very little sweetness here. The pear doesn't show up really. Um, it's it's more of a lemon herbal or herbal lemon kind of flavor uh, really really nice the flavors are all very light very subtle but they work for a very interesting kind of combination of flavors going on there in your mouth it's juicy oh that's very nice um, and then as it fades you get uh, kind of the cracker malts almost to like a rye cracker bite as it finishes and maybe more of that lemon peel kind of bitterness now at the back end so it kind of goes from like a lemon juice juiciness at the front to this kind of lemon peel bitterness on the back that's quite tasty hmm. so like I said I have no clue what makes a Pilsner Sicilian style but whatever it is I like it I mean I don't know if I've met a Pilsner I haven't liked but this has a really nice combination of interesting flavors um, a nice light medium me, light to medium, medium light body let's say medium light body it feels like there's like you're drinking something like it's, it's significantly more than water uh, but it remains refreshing and light and bright and dry and crisp all the things you want in a really good Pilsner I would say this is a really good Pilsner Anyways, this has been Matthew. I've been chewing the brew with Headless Mumbies, Vizzini, Sicilian-style uh, Pilsner. And I will uh, never get involved with a Sicilian when death is on the line.